Luke 16 8-9 8. And his master praised the unrighteous manager because he had acted shrewdly, for the sons of this age are more shrewd in relation to their own kind than the sons of light. 9. And I say to you, make friends for yourselves by means of the wealth of unrighteousness, so that when it fails, they will receive you into the eternal dwellings. The Lord gives his children spiritual blessings, and each child has talents, or a knowledge, education, to help them provide for themselves. Now the unfaithful shrewd steward, servant, might not be a righteous man, but he is clever in making deals, and profit. How can we Christian apply the kingdom of heaven and good stewards? That is kind of easy, Jesus commands us Christians to spread his teaching all over the wide world. Matthew 28 19 Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, 20 Teaching them to observe all that I commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Now you don't have to be shrewd or clever to know traveling the world isn't free or cheap. It takes the worldly treasure like silver, gold, paper money, coins and credit cards. Many times I see on social media, where preachers are greedy, the church doesn't isn't built and why does God Almighty need money? You have to think with a shrewd mind, does this person who made this statement know that nothing is really free? If you had good loving parents they worked hard to provide you, diapers, solid and liquid nourishment, clothes, medical attention when you needed it, and education. Now love and attention is 100% free, but providing essential needs doesn't grow on trees. The Church of Christ has supported my love and kindness for its devoted members because if they are students of God's Word, they will read it and learn, the Lord ask for you to give. Malachi 3:10. Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, so that there may be food in my house, and test me now in this, says the Lord of hosts if I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you a blessing until it overflows. Now here is another unclever statement I see on social media from people who say they love God, the tithing system is on in the Old Testament and Jesus' death at the cross completely done away with that practice. Trees with cash growing on didn't exist in years that are called BC, and they still don't exist now that we are in the AD. The people who make this statement are just as unfaithful with the possession the Lord gives them, same as the shrewd servant in Luke 16 13 It takes money to preach the gospel, it takes money to help communities or the world, to fund and support hospitals named after churches, churches, food banks, children orphans, to help the needy pay a bill or buy clothes and run homeless shelters. Most of the charities or organizations I just listed are run by Christian churches. How many other religions do you really see reaching out to others? Now I know all people have good hearts and a lot of ungodly donations to charities and do volunteer work, but on the main parts, Christians, children of the Lord, give the most of what they have. Use your possession the Lord gave you to win souls and further the kingdom of heaven. The charitable God blesses you all, Jesus loves you and so do I Samuel Jerry Head. Malachi 3 7 From the days of your fathers you have turned aside from my statutes and have not kept them. Return to me, and I will return to you says the Lord of hosts. But you say, how shall we return? Question mark 8 Will a man rob God? Yet you are robbing me. But you say, how have we robbed you? In tithes and offerings.